Hey everyone, it's me, Arthur Cade, and tonight we're on the red carpet for a special screening for season six of USA Suits. We'll be chatting with two of its main stars, Patrick J. Adams and Sarah Rafferty, so get ready for a great night behind the velvet rope. Where does Mike go from here, man? After that crazy thing, he goes to prison. He goes straight to prison. Literally to jail. Don't pass go. Yeah, he's in there. Uh, yeah, we were thought when we came back from last season they might time jump it or do something creative to like get me out of there. And I'm really happy that they didn't. They like put me in prison. We built a whole prison set. They have me in there, and it's a big part of the story of the season. And I think it's good for the show. I think like we've been building for all these seasons to somebody paying the price for lying for so long, and I think it's good that the audience doesn't get cheated of seeing it. This character, he is such a unique character for television. <laughs> Talk to me about getting to inhibit Mike for now going on six seasons. Uh, it's, uh, I'm honored. I mean, I'm honored that people react like you just said. I, I'm honored that people think that. To me, um, he's sort of just an extension of myself in so many ways. And uh, You mean you're an attorney faking it? <laughs> yeah, I've been faking being an actor for a long time. Uh, I think that he's a really honest, as much of a fraud as he was, he's actually a really honest guy and uh, people relate to that. Somebody who made a tough decision once in order to do something good and have to, has to constantly be paying the price and hiding it from people he loves. Uh, I think people relate to that. We all know what it's like to make a bad decision and sort of be haunted by it. And now I think people are going to go on the journey of watching him, you know, finally face the consequences of what he did. This show has developed such a rabid fan base. Talk to me about the fan support that you guys have received. It's overwhelming. I mean, everywhere we go and we walk down the street and people, they're just so uh, committed to it. You know, it's not its not um, frivolous. People, like, love these characters. And I've traveled the world. I mean, I've been all over the world, to the Philippines, to Malaysia, and people love these characters. There's something about, I think, a sense of community, a sense of community in the workplace people really respond to. There's a lot of people in the world that are working in offices, and I think, like, Suits kind of tells the story. I had someone on the plane stop me yesterday and go, there is, there's a Lewis Litt in our office, there's a Mike <laughs> Ross in our office, there's a Rachel Zane. Again, it's that kind of show where people can, you know, ascribe different people in their offices to those characters. So there's got to be something in it to it like that that, that makes it so successful. So Mike's going to go to prison. We're going to be in there with him. And then, uh, you know, the firm has fallen apart. Nobody's left. It's a ghost town. So, um, you know, it's left to Lewis and uh, Jessica and Harvey and Donna and Rachel to pick up the pieces and figure out if there's a future for the firm at all. So the stakes are really high when we come back season six. It's pretty crazy. The writers blew up the show. You get to work with such a great ensemble cast. One of them is right here, love Patrick that guy. Adams. I love that guy. Getting to work with these guys and girls, how exciting. Talk to me about just the experience of it for you. You know, it's really nice because in the in the downtime, I went away and worked on some other things, and um, which was really fun and exciting. But it's always nice to kind of slip into your cashmere sweater and come home, you know, and put your slippers on. And that's what it feels like going back to work. It's incredible. It's an incredibly safe space. And you know, I had that with Gabriel before we started because I've known Gabriel for 20 years. So. You know, from the, from the get-go on Suits, I had that kind of comfort with him, but it's developed. I mean, these these gents are my brothers, and we have a shorthand. Somebody was saying they were watching Rick and I the other day on set, and they they were laughing about the shorthand. Like, we can kind of wordlessly communicate with each other during a take and know when the other person's going back. And, you know, we just sort of do this dance with each other, and I think it's kind of comical and a little strange, but but really fun and I'm going to miss it one day because that day is going to come, you know? That day is going to come when it's over.